Let's talk about something they should have taught us in school. Real estate. <clears throat> What's the blueprint? How can you get started? This year, you know what my word for 2018 is? Results. Because like, people talk a lot, people go to school a lot, college is four years or eight years, people uh, read books, which I like, but they forget to do stuff. And everything you do, like in 20, this year, needs to be like doing stuff, like getting results. And, it, and I will say this, some people just do stuff, but still don't get results. Like they hustle and all that stuff, but like at the end of the year, you're like, what did you actually do? Like, show me a result. I have one of my students, he's gonna come on a little bit. Um, he started in real estate, um, he started in real estate. He's gone through different mentorships. He was making, you know, 50 to eight. Well, he's actually making less than $5,000 when he got started two years ago. Last year he made, we have, I have his tax return here, he made 300, what'd you make, Zach? 300, what's the tax return? 315? 315. $350,000. That's like rags to riches from real estate. So we're gonna talk about, he's gonna come on, and but I'm doing these partial scholarships. I had a real estate mentorship for years going and but we've had it closed a lot we let people in I think it was either 2015 or 2016 we let a whole bunch of people in then we said we we're closing it and people thought we were joking but we really did close it and people were shocked and we trained a whole bunch of people if you saw my snapchat and instagram story uh well snapchat yesterday I had 18 of my uh 300 students I call my 300 group these are the people who got results um, and I, you know, two of them are like 21 years old doing $40,000 a month. Was it 40,000? Like, is it your 25,000 or 40,000 a month? But either way, it's a ton of money at 21, right? They're on track to make, you know, half a million bucks. Uh, another guy, Jose, he was one of the first people in the real estate program that I've had closed. He made $30,000 his first month in Texas. He comes from, but he didn't have good credit. He didn't have money to start. So I want to share with you guys like, Remember, real estate made the most millionaires in the United States of any single thing you could do. Build an app, e-commerce, social media, you know, oil and gas, invest in gold, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. Like still nothing has beaten real estate. So I realized like I need to I need to get back to opening this up so I haven't talked on this for a long time but I want to I want to specifically focus on those of you who are want to get results results okay so <clears throat> Kenneth Jr. Hormy Jr. says what's the best way to get started in real estate with zero dollars and no experience that's what we're gonna do so let's talk let's let me break this down for you because for some bizarre reason real estate is taught zero in, in high school, junior high, and even in college, it's like, there's not, they're not really, unless you go for an MBA, they're not teaching real estate at all. So people are $1.2 trillion in debt for an education that left out, maybe, <laughs> I don't know if it's the single most important, but certainly one of the single most important things you can ever learn if you wanna be financially stable. Now, if you don't care about financial stability and you wanna be stressed and freaked out for the rest of your life, then please ignore everything that I'm talking about now. If you think everything is a scam and then also please do not watch this, butt hurt people never get results because they're always butt hurt. Cynical people don't get results because they always miss the trends because when the trend comes, they're like, it's like when the internet came, a whole literally millions of people are like, oh, internet won't be big. <laughs> then now they're all bandwagoners getting on real, you know, and this is the same with real estate. Even though real estate's been around for not just years or decades, but it's been making people rich for millennia. You read back Roman Empire, people were buying up real estate. Mark Twain said, buy land, they're not making any more. So, no matter what happens, unless we go to Mars, Elon Musk, but I doubt that's gonna work out very well. Maybe. You can buy land on, real, on Mars, I'll own planet Earth. I'm good with that. I, I, no offense to anyone wanting to go to Mars, but. Here is kind of how I think about real estate. So you gotta master these four components with real estate, okay? 
And the first one is you have to be a master of leverage. And this right here is what makes real estate work. There's really nothing else. And remember, I'm a businessman. I've always, been, I've been for over a decade, I've been a part-time real estate investor. I've never made real estate my primary uh, business because I like to start businesses. I'm an entrepreneur. But I've been in real estate, like I said, for more than a decade, always had some real estate. If you've been watching my social media recently, you've been seeing the properties I've been buying around the United States. And <clears throat> nothing else I do e-commerce, social media, business, I can't get leverage. And I'm gonna explain, for those of you who don't know what this means, I'm gonna go in depth of what I mean by leverage. So leverage is the first thing. Uh, and, and there's things inside leverage, like your credit score, okay? Collateralized loans. We'll just put collateral-based loans, banks, all this stuff, debt, okay? but that's kind of like subsets of this. So that's the number one quadrant that you need to understand. And I'm gonna try to do my best. For those of you, I'm gonna, towards the end of this, I'm gonna open up scholarships. So like I said, this has been closed for years. If you want to get in, some of you weren't able to get in the last time because it was a little bit too expensive for you. Even though it was, it's not expensive, it wasn't even the cost of a community college class. So I, but I know some of you are like me when you got started, you're completely broke. So I'm gonna do partial scholarships. I'll put a link up. But before we get to that, let me explain what you gotta learn. Cause I, I can't teach you everything. Give me eight, give me about eight weeks in the mentor program. We'll teach you pretty much everything you need to know in real estate, train you, but not just teach you so you have head knowledge, but get you results. By the way, if you ain't in the US, this works outside the US. One of the top students in the first real estate mentor test group that I did, he is in Sweden. He made $17,000 this first month. He sent me, I'll, I'll pull up, I'll actually show you. And this, so this is working in the US and outside. He sent me a, a screenshot of $70,000 check that he did. I keep this little real estate testimonial thing on my phone. Let me pull it up, it's kind of cool. I go through these. I get them in all the different programs that I have. Doom, doom, doom. That's one. Where is the Sweden? Oh, here we go. You can contact him if you want. It's Christian Erickson, E R I K S S O N, Christian with a K. So I'll hold this up here. This little, I don't know if you guys could see this. Oh, let me cover his cell phone. <laughs> you can WhatsApp him too. I don't know if he wants me to see it, but you can Facebook them. That's not an actor. That's not a fake account. And what it says there is a little small. Finally closed my biggest deal ever. Oh, sorry, not 70,000, 171,000. I will tell you my story how I did it. I used to work uh, as a carpenter at a big company uh, here in Sweden. I was so tired of my J job, so I sold my apartment, cashed out. Anyway, he has this whole story. He went to Sweden. Oh, here's a picture of the check too. It's kind of cool. Right there, you can see it. He has it in Swedish dollars, but it translates in US dollars into 171,000 US dollars. It's a lot more in Swedish kroners. It's like 1.3 million. Sounds better in Swedish money, in <laughs> Norwegian money, Swedish money. But that, that's results. Like that's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to pound into people's heads in the world nowadays. Because so many people talk, or they work hard, but like, we have nothing to show for it. This guy has something to show for it. Zach went from making $5,000, we have his tax return from two years ago, 5,000 last year. AGI, that's his adjusted gross income, is at uh, 350,000 roughly. It's good money, you know, it's about 30,000 a month. So, next, what do you need to know about leverage? Okay, I just call this, you can call this, different things, but you have to understand basically, you could call it archetypes, but that's more fancy words. So I'll just call it types. You have to understand real estate breaks into many, 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 many types of real estate deals. So for example, I like to buy raw land or farmland, develop it. Um, I, there's people who are 
buying and flipping properties. There are people who are doing something called wholesaling. That's where you don't even own the properties, but you make money uh, without owning. There's people like Grant Cardone. He really likes multi-unit properties, so he likes to buy apartment complexes. That's his thing. There's apartment complex. So there's many types, and we're going to go into some of those. Like I said, at the basic, the most risky is land, you know, land and development. Uh, and then, of course, you have flips. You have rentals where you're buying a house, holding on to it. You have multi-unit. And then, of course, you have commercial. And then you have something called wholesaling. So these are all the subtypes of real estate because a lot of times people just go, oh, I'm doing real estate. I want to get into real estate. Well, you can't, that's like, that's not an accurate way to talk about real estate. Okay. So you understand leverage, then you understand the types. Then the next thing you have to understand is you need to understand negotiations and sales because um, no matter what you do, I like to call this persuasion. Because any of this type of real estate, even the leverage when you're working, when you're getting people to give you money, or we'll talk about how to improve your credit score. I've got a credit program, mentor program, uh, that's insane results. People are doubling, their, their credit's going from like 400 to 800. Mm, maybe not 400 to 800, let me take that back. Like 600 to like 780. It's huge amount jump, okay? Uh, not quite double, but you have to use persuasion for that because at the everything in real estate, even though you think you're dealing with land, you're still dealing with people. So good real estate investors, what you need to be mentored on is the art of persuasion. And then the fourth quadrant here is marketing. Okay. You need to be a master marketer. This is one-on-one, one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one sales. But marketing, you need to know, and these are the new rules of real estate. Remember, this is changing. Like companies like Zillow, for example, are changing the world. People, how people are finding properties has changed. It used to be you had to use a realtor, you did all this old school stuff, um, but there's a whole art of marketing, either a deal you have or using marketing to find deals. Zach is an expert in that. He understands how to use persuasion and marketing to find deals, preferably off the market. I'm working on two big deals right now. I can't say how, I don't wanna say which ones they are because they're really cool deals. Um, some of them have been on my Snapchat. You've seen 93, 97 acre uh, piece of land I'm developing, but I'm working on some big ones and they're off the market and that's way better because you have no other people competing with you. So if you understand these four things, and there's other things that I haven't put, it, put in here, but this, you know, you need to understand contracts. I've kind of put contracts under this area here because contracts at the end of the day is negotiating, right? You're neg even though you need to understand the legal side. So the legal can come in here too. That's another thing. So I want to take a few questions. Uh, I see a ton of questions coming in. We're live on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Twitter. I haven't been live in a while. I've been traveling. Someone said, Ty, I'd like to attend your class. David Leon, Ty, you motivate me. Hello from Nepal. Good evening. Can I come to your house? I made $3 million. Cool. Someone said, bro, I'm strapped on cash. Someone says, What's the best place to start in real estate? So let's jump into this. <clears throat> These are the four quadrants you have to understand, but let's talk about practical results. What, here's my challenge to you guys. There's gonna be probably at least 10, 20,000 people watch this on all four platforms, plus my website, live, okay? I would like to challenge, not at, like I said, out of 10,000 people, give me 300 people, just like the movie 300, who actually go out take action, start investing in real estate. Some of you will flip, some of you will buy and hold and rent out, some of you do multi-unit, some of you buy land. I wanna challenge you, who's the 300 that are gonna get results? So, like I said, let me pull up this video. This is a cool video. Let me, let me turn on, I'm gonna turn on this video here. I wanna just show you, this is from yesterday, by the way. These are not actors. 
Uh, so I'm going to pull up this one with Hayden. If you saw this live on my Snapchat yesterday, but in case you missed it. All right. My name is Chris Euler. I'm Hayden Ludlow. We're uh, business partners. Yeah, we own Superior Investment Properties. Uh, we joined Ty and Cole's uh, real estate program about a year ago. Yeah, we used to make minimum wage. Now we're doing over 70000 a month. Uh, six figures on a good month. So. It's awesome. Where do you guys live? Uh, Seattle, Seattle, Washington. Washington. So are you buying real estate where? Everywhere. All over uh, Seattle, King County, King, Pierce, Pierce County. County, and we're working our way up to Snohomish too. What do your parents think? They love, they love it. it. They hated it at first. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> they were mad at you at first. <laughs> they they like it. Did you guys drop out of college? I did, yeah. yeah. Both did. He, uh, I dropped out right before it started. because I. So if you can't hear, Hayden, business partner, they dropped out of college. Now I'm not saying you got to drop out of college. So their parents were mad at first, but now they're making 70000 a month on average. And on a good month, they're doing hundred grand or more, six figures. They're just in a small part. It's not even a, I mean, Seattle's a moderately big city, but, and they're not just buying in Seattle. 21 years old, 21 years old. I had a book by Robert Kiyosaki about investing in real estate. He started out reading a book. Then they got in my real estate mentor program. And that was, I think, either the end of 2015 or, the, or in 2016, I can't remember. It's been yeah. years. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you got in the program. Did you get in what month? The first month, second month? Uh, second, probably. Second month. See, they, they got results. This is the thing. They got results because they actually did stuff. So for all of you watching, like, please, actually do stuff. And if I could go back in time and be in high school again or junior high, I would be like to my teacher, I'm like, can we, can you take us out and we do stuff? Don't, I don't want, we don't need to be lectured about real estate. You know, you can buy real estate if you do it with a parent or an adult before you're 18. There's guys, one of the most famous people in US history, uh, J.R. Simplot, he bought, he was buying up land and business and properties when he was 11 in Idaho. And guess what? If you start at 11, he died one of the wealthiest people in history. Now, I'm not promising everybody here is going to get rich and all this kind of stuff, but what I'm saying is like results. Let me put that, and some people go, oh, are there more? Let me give you another one. I'm not going to run these all day, but check this out. Let me, this is the, one of the first people I remember him getting in because he flew out the first month. This is Jose. Check this out. This is cool. By the way, we've done our best. My lawyers have actually looked at people's financials so that as best we can verify, these are accurate financial numbers. People could still trick us, but these, Jose, I've known for years. It's a cool Hey guys, Jose Solzano here. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I started Ty's program about a year ago. The real estate one, yeah, right? Yeah, real estate program. And yep. I went from not making nothing to 35,000 a month, but now I'm making like 10, I guess just to be- Your average. first month you did about 30. 35. Yeah, so it's averaging about 10? 10 to, 10 to 20,000. Like last, what, a week ago, I ended up making like 12,000. So what's the average your family's made? Like, are you the oh, highest man. earner in your family? Oh yeah, man, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ass. that's good. So he's like early 20s, got in a program. Best month was that first month. <laughs> you know they say you can't get rich quick? Well, that's true, but once in a while you also get beginner's luck. He got beginner's luck. He made over 30,000. I remember he brought his, he flew out here. We flew him out. He had a check. This check, $30,000. I don't even think he had cashed it. Uh, but he's averaging more like 12000 a month. So sometimes you got, with real estate, you got big months. And, but still, averaging twelve grand. He's, he's uh, Jose, he's Mexican, I think. He's from Texas. He made more than anyone in his family's ever made. It's crazy. He invested, the, he got in uh, the real estate mentor program for under 1000 bucks. And he got in it before we had even developed it. Now it's like way more advanced. But he got results because he did stuff. There you go. Right? If you're going to get a tattoo this year, get a tattoo that says results. If, if that's too plain, get it in Latin. What's the Latin word for results? Anybody know? Like just make that your motto. Because at the end of the day, I've seen this with myself. People are going to find things to pick on you and be like, oh, like sometimes people will be like, Ty, blah, blah, whatever thing. Oh, you show off cars or like, oh, I don't like your glasses or, you know, what? like people talk shit. But the thing they can never talk crap about is results. 
Seriously. You can shut people up real fast. There was a guy, you guys saw my, um, I did a debate live. And I, the replay is now on YouTube and it's kind of gone viral. It's, I mean, not super viral. It's got a mil, half a million or a million views, but a ton of comments because um, this guy wanted to debate me and he's like, Ty, you're not a good businessman. You're like a fake businessman. And I'm like showing him results. I like pulled up my phone. I'm like, well, here's a business I started last month and it made $50,000 today. And he was like, he went from like, blah, 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 to be like, but, but like you just see his, his, his hate go down because how do you argue with results? It's like a UFC fight. One guy talks a lot of crap, blah, blah, blah. Another guy goes in there and just knocks him out. And then it's like the talking stops. And so what I'd like you to do is um, in this year, look back and be like, this was the year where I actually can show you something on paper that I did. So if somebody goes, oh, you're fat, or you're ugly, or you suck, or you're dumb, you'll be like, yeah, but I got this. Results. NBA, people are like, oh, LeBron James, who's better? Michael Jordan, LeBron James. Well, Michael Jordan can be like six rings. It's hard to argue with reality. So real estate is very real. It's reality, you own it. Now let's talk about this kind of pathway if you don't have a lot of money or great credit. Some of you have money to get started. Let's talk about this first quadrant because in some ways, you can turn that off there. This is the most important quadrant here. Here's, here's why real estate can work for you this year or this month. Simple. In the let's say here's here's you today, and let's say you have. When I got started, I had forty-seven dollars in my bank account. So there's a saying: it takes money to make money, and that's partly true, and partly not true. Okay, it's partly true, and partly not true. So here's where it's true. I mean, it is true. It takes money to make money. The richest people in the world, like Jeff Bezos, he's not going to get poor. He, nothing's going to ever happen to Jeff Bezos. I would bet a million dollars he'll never be poor because he has money, so he'll always be able to invest in deals. And even if he, Amazon goes down, he, he'll still have billions left to do this, and he'll get sweetheart deals, and people will come to him and say, hey, you want to invest in this, and he'll make money in all these different things. That's what they mean by the rich getting richer. So that's the bad news for you. If you don't have any money, you're at a serious disadvantage in life. And here's the bad news, even worse news. It will continue for longer than you can imagine. I'm talking, it, it could easily continue for the rest of your life. Look around at your family, parents, friends. Do you see people trapped in cycles of poverty? Yes, major cycles of poverty. poverty. So that's the absolute truth. It takes money to make money. Here's what happens with real estate. If you're like me, you have $47 or whatever the amount is, a thousand bucks, it's not a lot. It's not enough to really do big deals. But with real estate, let's say you identify a house that you want to flip, okay? You think you can get it cheap, fix it up a little bit, resell it, or you can wholesale it, which is another conversation. And let's say the house, just to use round numbers, costs $150,000, okay? So you go, wait a sec, I got 47. There's no way I can buy that house. Well, that would be true if it was a car. That'd be true if it was a business. That'd be true if it was gold. That'd be true if it was Bitcoin. That would be true if it was the stock market. It's not true for real estate. Isn't that weird? You can literally manufacture money kind of out of thin air, not literally out of thin air, but kind of, because watch. There's people here, some of them are bankers, some of them are called hard money lenders, some of them are rich people who have too much money but not enough time. There's a whole group of people here, everywhere in the world, in every country in the world, basically, maybe not North Korea. This group here, if you connect to them, what Zach does is he goes to these guys, hey, I don't have that much money to buy this, but
but I think it's a good deal. I can get it for 150 and we can sell it for 200. Pretty sure I can sell for 200. Will you give me the money and I'll pay you 8% interest or 10% interest or I'll give you a percentage of the deal. And these bank guys go, they look at the deal themselves. They got eyeballs. They'll look at the deal and if they agree with Let's say Zach, he's gonna come on here a little bit. They agree with Zach, they go, okay. And they send the money. They provide the 150,000. So now you, or in this case, Zach, you have zero money in the deal. But if you're correct and you sell it for 200,000, and let's say it takes a year or a month or whatever time frame. You'll pay these guys back 150, plus they're gonna charge some what's called points usually, and possibly they have equity in the deal or and some interest, but maybe you're gonna pay them back, let's say 10 grand on this deal. So they're gonna get a check for 160, but you keep 200, so you walk with 40,000. So you literally can take $47, and make it into $40,000. There is nothing in the world that I know of besides sometimes e-commerce and entrepreneurialism, but no traditional thing you can do. The internet's changed it. The internet can do that for you at times, but you want to do the internet and real estate. You want to have some of you, you know, um, there's a guy, Brock, he's one of the biggest Bitcoin owners in the world. He's a billionaire. He's on the Forbes list. They just came out with him on the Bitcoin. Forbes came out with an article about him. Me and him did a video, you might have seen it. And I was talking to him and he has all this money in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, but he told me he puts a good bit of his money in real estate. That way he goes, if the whole internet and cryptocurrency thing doesn't work out, he has something real because real estate's real. People live in it. It has a purpose. So it's more concrete down to earth asset, okay? So just think of that's you. And that's how these guys that I just showed you the video, Jose, we showed you Hayden, these guys, that's how they're walking with $100,000 a month sometimes, $30,000 a month, $12,000 a month. And they're working half as hard as everybody else in the world and making twice the money or 10 times the money. It's insane that more people aren't teaching this. You know, and some people go, Oh, well, I, you know, well, that sounds like a scam. Well, to stupid people, everything sounds like a scam, just so you know. Even Albert Einstein said that. He said, the thing about smart people is they sound crazy to dumb people. This sounds crazy to dumb people. People are like, no, Ty, nine to five job, that's the only thing that works, man. This, is, this sounds crazy. Crazy? Trillions of dollars trillions of dollars in the world this year are changing hands exactly like this but this is what the rich teach their children and they don't teach you see i didn't grow up rich no one teaches this i had a, a guy over here this week whose dad is one of the richest people um in los angeles very wealthy i don't know if they're quite billionaires but let's just say hundreds of millions of dollars probably in their bank account right now okay and he was telling me he's doing huge real estate deals and it's easy for him because his father taught him how to do it. His dad didn't even have to give him the money. Like his dad didn't give him the money, but his dad gave him the information. And so what I need each of you to get is like to stop thinking that this is crazy and get the results for yourself. It might not be 40,000 a month. You might not want to do it, but everybody here, 100% of the people on this call right now, and there's literally gonna be 10,000 people, I'll say, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, every one of you should own real estate this year. You know? I don't care if you live in India, if you live in Michigan, if you live in the UK, I don't care if you think it's out of your, you might have to do it with a business partner or somebody else, but there's a piece of real estate I bet you, most of you, it's within 25 miles of where you're standing right now. Because sometimes people go, oh, I live in a big city, there's no real estate. Yes, there is. There's a little rundown house that you could get your buddy who knows carpentry, fix up and rent it out for 500 bucks a month. 
Here's the thing about real estate. I just want to add this one thing. I'm thinking hard, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I might give a house away. I gave away 12 cars. What do you think? Should I give away a house? Be a cool. I got this idea. I was talking to Kevin Hart. It's on my Instagram. We shot a video together, and he's like, Ty, you give away cars? He's like, give away a house. And he got me thinking. That was last year, and I was like, maybe I should give away a house. But here's the cool thing about a house. Let's say you don't flip a house, but you let's say you do a different type of real estate. Remember I said there's different types of real estate? So let's say instead of flipping, okay, I, I've never been a big flip person, but some people love flipping. Like Cole, one of the people who will be teaching you if you get in the mentor program, he's flipping a property right now in Orange County that he's gonna make one million profit. That's his profit, one million dollars. And he hardly put any of his own money into the deal. So some of you, I usually do, I hold it longer and here's why. You take a house or an apartment or whatever, if you hold it and rent it out, this thing will pay you. Like I have different properties that I rent out. I just sold one actually, but I have one in North Carolina. It's just an old house I used to live in. And I was like, should I sell it? And I was like, nah, I'm not gonna sell it. And it Cause when I moved to California back in 2006, so I just kept this house. It's near uh, Crabtree Valley Mall. in if you, those of you who know Raleigh, North Carolina. And I was like, I'll just rent it out. So I never go back to North Carolina. So I found this lady who said, I'll manage the property for you for a hundred bucks a month. I'm like, great. So we rented out, the, the mortgage is 1600 on it. And the rent is, I was able to rent it for like about 1600, but guess what happens? Every year we raise the rents a little bit. So now it's 1700, 1800. I think it's at $2,000 a month now. Here's the crazy thing. I just want you to think about this. You ever seen or heard that fairy tale where, was it Jack and Jill, was it the Jack and the Beanstalk who had the, the goose that laid the golden egg? Wasn't that what that was? That was a story. He went up. So this goose lays money eggs, basically. And at one point in life, I realized this little property, and now I, it's not a big deal. I know how to make a lot of money now. You know, now I make between a hundred and three hundred thousand dollars a day with business revenue from my businesses. But back when I was starting out, like two thousand dollars a month was a lot. Well, that place in Raleigh, North Carolina, I plan to never sell it. Because in a couple years, it'll be renting out for three thousand dollars a month. Ten years from now, four thousand, maybe five thousand. By then it'll be paid for. The renters paid for it. Imagine I just get a check every month. The average millionaire has seven different streams of income. Now I'm lucky enough now I have about 20 streams of income. But it took me a long time to build that up. If I had known more about real estate, I could have done it way faster. You can get your hands on seven properties quicker than you think. Some of you can do it this year. Some of you, you know, will take a couple years, but now you have seven properties. You can do it in different cities, different areas. So if a recession comes, and they just check every month, boom, because people got to rent them out. People need a place to live and more people are renting homes now than ever before in history, you know, because it's convenient, apartments, condos. So one of the things that I want you to learn is the different types. I think everybody should do a real estate flip. I think you should have a real estate hold. I think you should have a multi-unit property like a duplex triplex or an apartment if you are a little more sophisticated. I think some of you should look at raw land. I think a lot of you should do wholesaling deals. So now you have different streams of income diversified. I have real estate in North Carolina. I have real estate in Virginia. I have real estate in California. I spread it all out, spread it out. If California gets a big earthquake, falls off the planet, we'll still be good. All right, questions. Someone said, Ty, do you know Jesus as Lord and Savior? Okay. Jesus was a carpenter. He was involved in real estate. There you go. That's my answer to that. Um, someone said, build houses for cheap is the way to go. Yeah, you can build houses. That's what I said. You can buy property. That's what I'm doing. I'm adding houses. I'm working on a property where we're going to work on developing houses. That's more advanced. Do not start with buying raw land and building house on it. That's kind of a pain in the butt. All right. 
Uh, let's see. Flipping requires strict, tight timeline, three months or less. Not always. There's no rule of what the flipping is. I mean, if you hold it for years and then sell it, it's not really a flip, but it doesn't have to be three months. I'm not sure where you got that rule. Not in America. Uh, someone said simple logic. Absolutely. Ty, do you know this guy called Dean? That is very specific. How are you making 100 k a a day? Well, let's see how much I made today. I got different businesses. We launched seven businesses, new ones this year. I can show you screenshots if you guys want to see. Here's a Stripe account here. Let's see. I haven't even looked today. Oh, I need to dim the iPhone brightness. So I'll unlock my phone. Let me dim this so you guys can see a little bit. So this is a marketing agency that I have. We launched, we made $7,498 today, $131,000. Uh, it's actually less than a month. We haven't even had it open for a month. So that made $130,000 this month. Okay. Mentor box. That's this company right here. Did $21,000 today. So that's roughly $30,000. And the day's not over. I've got a sales company that does phone sales. Made $18,000 today. So now we're roughly getting close to $50,000, right? Am I math right? We launched a meal replacement shake company. This is a new company. It's hardly a week old. Made a lowly $386 a day. But it's not bad. If you're just starting out, man, an extra $400 a day. I haven't even looked at that business. And then my, so those are my businesses that I have on Stripe. My main business I don't have on Stripe. So it looks like today we're on track. So here's one of my main businesses you can see. I'm going to cover up, but you can see the total amount. It's made $48,171. So roughly it looks like today I'm at about $98,000 is what I've made today. By the time the day is over, we should hit... It's not a great day today. Fridays is always, I always make the least amount of money on Fridays. I never like, you know how people are like, thank God it's Friday? That just goes to show you, when you're an entrepreneur, the rules that apply to regular society will no longer apply to you. Like people love Fridays. Friday is always a bullshit time, day for me. By far my worst day for the last five years. But I don't care because I like Fridays. I, all days are the same. Tuesdays are usually the best. Yeah, Fridays I go out, I have fun. But, you know, it's not bad. I mean, make, I grew up in a family, a single mom. My mom never made $20,000 in a year. Now we make $20,000 in an hour or two. So I'm very grateful for the blessings I have. Who knows how long it'll last. You saw Avicii died. Like, you can die any day. So never get too cocky. Enjoy what you have while you have it and keep building what you have while you have it. But always keep hungry for, like, the next thing. Now, I'm going to put, I don't even know how, how long we've we been going here. Did you just turn that on? I think it's 10 minutes behind. Okay. 37. What about tax liens? Yep, you can do that. I had, like I said, a buddy of mine was over here today. He buys notes from banks. You can do bankruptcy type stuff. Uh, he's buying notes directly from banks. So like if the bank has to, the bank sometimes lends and people don't pay. So they're stuck with these properties and they'll often sell them to you. I knew a guy that was buying properties for like 10 cents on the dollar. So million dollar properties he was getting for $100,000. And then he would just hold on to them and flip them. Dude, there's crazy money in real estate. You ain't never seen really more. It, you got to get involved in real estate. I just don't know how to tell you this. I've been doing it part time. And you can do it part time like me. Most people should not be a full time real estate investor. But some of you should. I just always liked like internet. I don't know. I, I got started in internet. So I never made real estate like my number one thing. But I'm glad I've always, well not always, over a decade, I've been a part-time real estate investor every single year. Always doing something. Sometimes, some years I hardly did just did a little real estate. And some years I focused on it a lot. This year I'm focused more. I'm working on like, $15 million worth of deals right now. But there's been years when I've only done little deals, like a couple hundred grand worth. 
So you don't have to get intimidated and go, oh, well, Ty's more advanced than me. Forget that. It's real estate. It's houses. It's buildings. People need to live in them. People need to use them. Also, there's going to be a big, if you get in real estate now is a key time because commercial properties are getting ready to change. Shopping centers are getting hurt because of Amazon.com. Uh, grocery stores, Sears, Nordstrom's, all these big traditional retail places are slowly going bankrupt. So what that's going to do is going to be a huge opportunity for someone like you to learn, who knows a little bit about real estate, not a lot, just enough, enough to be dangerous. Uh, and you will be able to get opportunities to get in real estate. And I, one thing I didn't talk about that I, I love here, I'll tell you my favorite thing. And then I'm going to put up the link here for the partial scholarships. You guys are going to be the first group. And by the way, the real estate mentor program now, this is a new version I've released. This is the best version. I've never had one like this. The results you saw on video from these other people, they were in like the old 1.0 version of it. It's so much better now, but they got results without that. But right here, leverage, there's one other thing I love to do. That's called owner financing. That's the dream to me. Um, owner financing is where somebody wants to sell it and you're like, I'll buy it from you, but I don't have any money. And they're like, okay, I'll, you buy it from me and I'll just change it to your name and you pay me every month. And then you can split it up over months and you can rent it out to get the money to pay it. I love owner finance. You can't always do owner financing, but if you know how to market and do persuasion, I just did a deal where the lawyer was like, my client will not do owner financing. They just told me. So I wrote a persuasive little message to the owner and they're like, sure, we'll do owner financing. I just did a $700,000 deal. I think it was 705,000 real estate deal and I put $15,000 down, that's it. And I didn't even have to put 15,000 down. I just did it because she's like, well, you co cover the closing costs. I could have played hardball with them and just been like, no, you cover the closing costs. You finance it 100%. I got a bank to do about 60% of it and the bank didn't want to do 100%. So I went to the owner and I said, you do the other 40%. And the their realtor, it wasn't their lawyer, sorry, their realtor's like, no, the owner's not going to want to do it. I said, because realtors have to bring, by law, they got to bring your offer to them. So they're like, no, they're not going to like this offer. I wrote up a nice thing. I said, bring it to them. Persuasion right there. And the owner, right, they were, owner was in North Carolina. This was a piece of property in, real, in Virginia. They wrote by back, okay, I'll do it. So I literally could have done that deal for $100. I gave them 15,000 up front just to speed up the deal. But just imagine that you now own $700,000 worth of real estate and you only put 100 bucks into it. Or zero I could have done. Now, you need to have a plan. Let me just be clear. You need to understand real estate enough to know you're going to have the monthly payment on it. So you have to know how to rent it out and things like that. I don't have time to get into everything, but yes, give me 2 months. I'm going to turn some of you into badasses. Some of you are going to get in my 300 group. My 300 group, by the way, is what I'm focused on personally for 2018. More than real estate, more in business deals, I decided I'm going to take 300 people documented through, from rags to riches this year. And so I started doing dinners at my house. Nobody can pay to be in the group. They have to have been people in my paid programs who got results. When they get the results, I invite them to my house. And we have a lunch. We just had a lunch din slash dinner yesterday. 18 people's insane stories, it's nuts. One guy's making $200,000 a month. He's doing internet and the internet guys, I'm getting to do real estate. The real estate people, I'm teaching them e-commerce. So when I'm done with some of you, I'm gonna show you how to do real estate. I'm gonna show you how to do social media. I'm gonna show you how to do e-commerce. This is the future. Every business that I, and by the way, just for anybody who's wondering, people go, did Ty only, get, some people say Ty only, made money by teaching other people to make money. Well, that's not true. Some of things are just a lie. It's like, it's like modern media. Some things just made make believe. Before I ever did a real estate mentor program, I was doing real estate for myself for 10 years. Okay, more than 10 years. Before I ever taught anybody how to do e-commerce and internet marketing, I was doing it for 
15 years, I haven't even got enough fingers for it. 15 years before I started teaching. I started as an entrepreneur at 19 years old. I've been doing this stuff 19, I was fresh out of high school. I got lucky, I found a mentor. That's why I talk about mentors. Joel Salatin, you guys have seen the videos, me and Joel Salatin. Me and Joel Salatin back to doing a business again together. We have, we're business partners again. It's a cool story. So I'm only showing you stuff that I first test. If I test it and it doesn't work, I'm not gonna show it to you. Now some people go, well does this work for everybody? Well, does college work for everybody? What's the success rate of college? Honestly, what is the success rate of people who get a bachelor's degree in art history? How many of them go on to use that degree to make money in art history? How many people get an English degree, go on to make their money either teaching English or writing a book? What, 1%, less than 1%? So sometimes people go, Ty, what are these, the ratio of success to, well, a lot of people are lazy and get in the programs you know about 20% of people who get in our programs never log in the first day to the mentorship. They buy it. They spend a thousand bucks, they spend 500 bucks. They never, they're so lazy, 20% of them never, we give them a special password protected website, they never log in. That's the, but that's a beautiful thing for those of you who take action. The more lazy people there are, the more real estate that's sitting out here for you to buy. When I first started with real estate, I was like, man, all the good deals are gonna be just, if there's a house that's a good deal, thousands of people are gonna be wanting to buy it and I'll be having to go to an auction. And then we found a good deal and I'm like, how come nobody else sees this deal? And my business partner at the time, John DeWar, was like, people are lazy, Ty. There ain't many people out here hustling to make money. The average, the, Thoreau, the philosopher in the 1800s, he said it, Back then, the 1800s, when people used to work hard, he said the mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation. What's called resignation is confirmed desperation. Most people are desperate and they confirm their desperation by just sitting in the hole they've dug for themselves. And they, you give them a ladder, they ain't gonna walk up a ladder. They'll be down in the, the hole going, I'm in a hole, get me out. Okay, here's a ladder. Oh, I'm in a hole, get me out. Yo, dude, I just said, here's a ladder. Oh, I'm in, a, I'm in a hole, I can't get out. And then you realize they are chronic complainers. They're whiners. And we live in a world, a lot of people whine. Now some people are stuck in a hole and nobody's putting a ladder down there for them. And those people I feel bad for. Because it is possible, all of us have made mistakes and you get stuck. And you need people to lend you a helping hand. But I don't feel as bad for the people who are down in that hole. They've learned what they should do and they ignore it. And I don't want that to be any of you. You guys have been informed. If you've been watching this, you have been informed. I've told you straight facts. I've told you the most millionaires in the United States. And I'm, I haven't seen the statistic globally, but I'm 99% sure it's global too. But for sure the United States and probably 80% of the world, the most wealth is created through real estate. People buying homes, people buying land, there is a guy or a woman right now in whatever town you live in, I don't care how little podunk, I used to live in Clayton, North Carolina, in a mobile home, okay? There, were, there are people in that city that you live in, in that little town, who are worth 10 million bucks from real estate. Guarantee you. Somebody driving an old pickup truck. If you went in their bank account, looked at their net worth, their balance sheet, 10 million, easy. And I'm talking about in any little village in the world. Do you know how little you have to own to be worth 10 million? You, you, you own a, in Los Angeles, you own one house free and clear. It's gonna be, t I'm in Be Beverly Hills. There's streets, there, there's a house right over this way. It's a $150 million house. But when I live in Clayton, North Carolina, if you own one block worth of real estate, that's 10 million bucks, one block. I bet you there's people right here on this call I want you to write down what time it is. I do this sometimes in my life. You literally take out a notepad. I want you to write down the day and the time because you're in different time zones watching this live. Write it out. One day, you'll look back and be like, this is the time when I was told I'll own a whole block of real estate. A whole block. 
Maybe it's on the same block, maybe it's not. Some of you are gonna own a whole block of real estate. And I want you to have take a picture of it so it's saved on your phone, back it up, send yourself an email. Because one day you're gonna look back and be like, I was broke. I happened to be on this weird live call with this dude, Ty. Because I'm not gonna take credit for, if you succeed, it's because of you. But you'll be like, I was on, and this guy alerted me to the fact that I was gonna own a whole block of real estate somewhere in the world. And all my friends thought I was crazy, but he also said the average millionaire has seven streams of income. And if I own seven different houses on one block, and maybe the corner store there, there's a grocery store you own, the shopping center on the corner, maybe you own a raw piece of land, you put a little apartment complex. I'm looking at a deal down in San Diego. It's just like a little one, six apart, six, it's like a, kind of like a triplex. It's, it's got three, it's got two now and I can build up to and back to, so I can turn it into six. It's zoned for six in Pacific Beach. That's gonna be some of you. And each of those properties are gonna spin off money, like a, like just like a money machine. Some of them will make you 500 a month. Some of them will make you 2,000. And you'll go, that was the most important day of my life because I realized I'm gonna own a whole block of real estate. Some of you will own it in the United States but don't think you gotta only do it in the United States. I have a business partner, he's going down and buying up real estate in Colombia. Now you need to be careful in certain countries, there's some political risk sometimes, but there is no reason you only have to buy in the US or if you're not a US citizen, you know how easy you can buy real estate if you live in another country in the US? The US makes it easy. Hell, China's coming in buying up half of America. <laughs> there ain't no, there's very little rules in America. So you come in here, some of you will do it part-time. Some of you spend one hour a week on this. And next thing you know, you're gonna own a block of real estate. And some of you will be multi-millionaires. Some of you might be billionaires, okay? But forget billionaires now. It takes a lot of luck to be a billionaire. Focus on millionaire. That's it, that's all you need. And more important than even being a millionaire is having guaranteed income just pouring in. See, everybody else in the world has money go out. Everybody in the world, just think, the first of the month comes, oh my God, my rent's due, my credit card bill due, my student loan is due, uh, my groceries, my electricity, and money just goes whoosh, that way. But there's some people, they don't teach you this in school, a smaller percentage of people, they're excited for the first of the month because everybody's paying them. If you own a block of real estate, your favorite day of the month will be the first of the month. When everybody else hates the first of the month, you'll be like, I love it. This person will bring you a check for 1,000, 500, 4,000. The next thing you know, you'll have 10, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 on autopilot. And all your friends will be like, how come you always can go on vacations? How come you don't seem so stressed out? And you'll be like, because I understand the four quadrants of real estate. Somebody showed them to me on a live call. Some of you will go more advanced and go into the mentorship program. You understand leverage, you understand how to fix your credit score, collateral-based lending, you understand banks, you understand debt, you understand owner financing, you understand all the types of real estate, you'll have chosen the one or two that are the most interesting for you. You'll have been taught how to negotiate deals so you don't get ripped off, and then you'll be taught how to market. And once you know those four things, you'll have that skill for life. Maybe you'll pass it on to somebody else. In fact. I think you should pass it on to someone else. I'm passing, this is a free call. So pay it forward to someone else. But first do it. Because when you have results, let me just, I, one of my favorite parts in this video right here, let me show you this one more time. One of my favorite parts is this, is just when he says the results. And you know, when you first see this guy, Jose, I mean, he doesn't look, what is up with that picture of him there? He looks like Kim Jong-un. I'm gonna talk to him about his haircut. Look at this picture. This is not the uh, thumbnail I meant to go on, but he doesn't look like Kim Jong-un, but um, no matter what anybody says, hey, they say, oh, you're too young. Hey, you're Mexican, you know? A lot of people in Texas don't like Mexicans. Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. listen to what he says. Hey, Solzano here, I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I started Ty's program about a year ago. The real estate one, yeah, right? Yeah, real estate program. And yep. I went from not making nothing to 35,000 a month, but now I'm making like 10. 35,000. First, 
I think it was his first or second month in the mentor program. 35,000. How do you argue with that? Let me tell you, you can have any haircut you want <laughs> if you get a check for 35,000 bucks as a beginner in real estate. That was profit, by the way. That was profit. Did a wholesaling deal. Wholesaling deals where you don't actually own the property. You basically act as a middleman. You can act as a middleman in real estate too. Not a realtor, that's different. Being a real estate agent is not what we're talking about. That's harder to make money in my opinion. I never know why so many people want to be real estate agents. I'm like, shit, don't be a damn real estate. You're making other people rich. <laughs> but no offense to those of you who are real estate agents. If you like being a real estate agent because you enjoy it, then you should do it. And you should also do real estate on the side because you're around deals all the time. You got insider access. So you can't argue with, result, uh, with, with uh, results. It just, you can't. What are these other ones? I don't even know what these. How do you argue with this? This is yesterday. My name is Chris Euler. I'm Hayden Lolo. We're uh, business partners. Chris and Hayden. Yeah, we own Superior Investment Properties. Uh, we joined Ty and Cole's uh, real estate program about a year ago. Yeah, we used to make minimum wage. Now we're doing. Let me stop there. Minimum wage one year ago. What's minimum wage there in Washington? In California, it's been raised. It's about 12 bucks an hour. It's $24,000 per year. So if you work minimum wage, roughly, you get a check for 2,000 minus taxes. So you're getting a check for roughly, after taxes, social security, health insurance, everything's removed. They're probably getting a check. They were each making in their pocket about 1,400 bucks a month, maybe less. $1,400 per month. They had to pay their rent with that, they're 21 years old. They were going to college, they had to take on college debt, and eventually they'd have to pay that off. Uh, food, car, gas, fun, travel, clothes. Now listen to this. This is the story. The blank to the results. Over 70,000 a month. Uh 70,000 a month, that's an average month, not a good month. Six figures on a good month. Six figures on a good month, so that's 100K plus. It's awesome. Where do you guys live? Uh, Seattle, Seattle Washington. Washington. So are you buying real estate where? Everywhere. So now house. you can see they're talking about the types of real estate. Now listen to my favorite part here is where this is what's going to start happening to you guys with your parents and your friends. <laughs> they were mad at you at first. They love it. They love it. They hate it at first. Hold on. Just know me too. What do your parents think? They love, they love it. it. They hate it at first. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> they were mad at <laughs> you at first. <laughs> out, they like it. Did you guys drop out of college? I did, yeah. yeah. Both did. He, uh, I dropped out right before it started because I read a book by Robert Keith. So they drop. Now, don't you all don't have to drop out of college because I don't want your parents calling me up, yelling at me and crap. But that's what they did. Those of you who are interested in cryptocurrency, those of you who are interested in e-commerce, those of you who are interested in uh, having a social media marketing agency, those of you who want to read more, those of you who want to start your own business, want to start a restaurant, do real estate always for the rest. Another thing I want you to write down, two things. There's a small group of you that's going to own a block of real estate. Maybe one of you a year from now or less. Some of you a couple years from now. But sometime in your life you're going to own a block of real estate because of this call. This live call. But the second thing, every one of you, I don't care if you live in India, I don't care if you live in, you know, Siberia, I want each of you for the rest of your life to always own some investment property. Not just the place you live in, because sometimes I'll rent or lease the place I live in, believe it or not, and then I'll buy better properties. You can do that for tax reasons. But every single person, I want you to write down today's date, today's time, right now. Results come from actions. There you go. You write it down. Rich dad, poor dad. And I want you to say, <laughs> I want you to say, I will always, for the rest of my life, own investment real estate. And one day, you're going to come to me, maybe you'll meet me somewhere, and you're going to go, most important thing I ever wrote on a piece of paper. I promise you. Now, I just want to give you one warning. One warning. You can lose money in real estate. It happens. It is not a guarantee, but if you don't know what you're doing, everything goes wrong in anything you ever do for the rest of your life. For example, here's the perfect analogy. If you want to get muscles, you gotta lift weights and exercise. Everybody agrees on that. There's nobody who just wakes up and instantly is Arnold Schwarzenegger or The Rock, okay? So you gotta go in the gym or you gotta go, you know, play basketball, whatever sport it is. So you have to take action. 
But if you don't know what you're doing and you go in the gym, Zach, for example, my friend, not this Zach, he went into the gym and pulled a muscle and had to get surgery. So, oh, is that Instagram? So, I forgot to do the call to action. <laughs> I was on there. That's fine. You guys are getting behind the scenes. Um, so, real estate's like the gym. You need a little training so you don't hurt yourself. I see people trying to do real estate on their own and making mistakes. So weights in a gym aren't that hard with a little bit of guidance. That's how real estate is. But if you don't know what you're doing, I've been in the gym. You see people, you ever seen people like doing the wrong machine for something? It's like the leg machine and they're like using it for their arms or whatever. And they tear a muscle and they're hurt. So it's very important for, to me that none of you get hurt. And that's why I created this mentor program. So what is the mentor program? I'll pull this up real fast. Can you bring that other board around here? I'm gonna do partial scholarships. You will see a link if you're on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. It's either a link like on the title of this live call or it's a pinned comment. Or you can just go to tylopez.com. We'll put, here, I'll put a link right here. Where did we put the link? So this is a program that's a $2,500 program. Remember, it's a, don't have a heart attack yet because I'm doing partial scholarships, so you're not going to have to pay that much money. I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay, you're going to get access to an online mentorship in real estate, okay? You're going to access to a private Facebook group, so you can ask questions 24-7, in the community. And I'm gonna give you a whole bunch of bonuses. I'm gonna give you a bonus. This is, remember I said you gotta learn persuasion? I had the Wolf of Wall Street, Jordan Belfort over here. He's gonna teach you some of the most ninja, legal by the way, not true, not full on Wolf of Wall Street, legal techniques on negotiation and persuasion. Trust me, say what you want about the Wolf of Wall Street. The man knows how to persuade people to do stuff. And now he does it legally, so. Um, we're gonna talk about productivity and time management so you don't procrastinate in this program. We're gonna, Cole Hatter is in there. Cole is one of my business partners. He went from being um, partially paralyzed. He was a firefighter, got hit by a drunk driver, broke zero money in a wheelchair. He got himself out and he was a self-made millionaire in real estate by age 27. And now he's one of the top real estate coaches in the world. And so he'll be training you. He's one of the teachers. There's different teachers in the program. I'm teaching some of it. Real estate's so big, no one person knows it all. Um, so we'll be talking about bonuses with him. This is very important, credit. We're gonna get your credit up going. I don't care if your credit is 400, 450. We're gonna get your credit up. There's techniques that are legal and work fast, fast. Some of you have seen some of the live calls I've done with Steven. I got one with Gary Keller. He owns the largest real estate uh, brokerage in the world. He also wrote The One Thing, a lot of you have seen. So normally, with all these bonuses, this is a $5,000 package, okay? And I'm doing partial scholarships. I'm gonna cover most of the cost. You'll see. I'm gonna cover 90% of it, okay? I'm gonna cover 90% of it. Why don't I cover 100% of it? Uh, I have learned. If people don't pay any money, they ain't taking it seriously. People buy their own, they buy shoes, they buy fidget spinners, they buy stupid stuff. If you're not willing to invest in yourself, you ain't taking this seriously. And my goal is to have people with results. I don't wanna have a huge group where only like one person gets results. It makes me look bad. So I have a filtration system. And the filtration system is everybody pays, everybody. And some people go, oh, that's not fair. That makes you a scam artist. That doesn't make me a scam artist, dumbass. Colleges cost money and so does high school. Even if you don't pay it, tax dollars pay. Everything costs money, everything. Nothing's free. People are all freaked out about Facebook. Oh my God, Facebook is monetizing my, my eyeballs by selling ads. Well, no shit. How do you think they can afford to run Facebook? Nothing's free, man. Millennials. If you ain't smart enough to understand that anything that's free isn't really free, 
you definitely are never going to make a million bucks. If you, one of my mentors, Alan Nation, said, if you've been in a room for more than 30 minutes and you don't know who the sucker in the room is, you're the sucker. So if you're a sucker and you go, Ty, I pay for nothing. I will not pay for anything. Then don't pay. I honestly don't care. So that's my simple answer. Sometimes people are like, Ty, convince me to be in it. I'm like, hell no. That's like convincing someone to date you. Would you convince somebody to date you and marry you? Like, it's the, you're like on the wedding day and they're getting cold feet and they're like, uh, I don't really think I like you. And you're like, let me give you a seven point persuasion uh, why you should marry me. Like, no, leave. You're not a good match. So if anybody above and beyond what I've already said needs a 63 point explanation as to why you should pay for this, then you're not a good candidate. It's a beautiful screening system. So that's why I'll pick up 90% of the cost, but you're going to pay 10%. And if that's too much for you, then good. Go learn it on your own. It'll take you a decade. Some of you are going to learn it in 10 weeks, what's going to take people, most people 10 years. And if you don't value your time, man, I'll pay anything to save 10 years. Anything. If somebody was like, Ty, all the money you have now, you have to give it to me, but I'll save you 10 years off the learning curve for your next 10 years, I'd be like, great, I'm in, deal, okay? Um, so you're gonna learn wholesaling, you're gonna learn buy and hold, you're gonna learn flipping, okay? This is level one, by the way. So level one is the online version of this. We do have a level two and a three. So once you get in level one, some of you level two is where you come in person, um, here usually to my house, and we do every once in a while, we do an in-person training. So level one is online. That's what you're getting access to now. Everything I've mentioned is available for that price. You're not gonna get charged more. If you wanna come to my house, there's a level two, but you have to first go in level one. You can't just buy level two. And then there's a level three where you get the online, you get in-person, and you get weekly coaching. If you wanna have some coaching where you can answer questions. Right now, everybody starts at level one. Everybody starts in the bottom and works your way up, man. The way I work, you get a bachelor's before you get a master's before you get a PhD. That's how I have it here. We're kind of revolutionizing ev how education goes around, you know, all the things they didn't teach you in school. I'm trying to work on those. That's what my business is here. So, okay. So I'm gonna announce the test group. To get in, as I said, um, I'm gonna write it. Let's flip this. Can you bring me this other board? I'm gonna take some questions. I'm gonna have Zach come on. He's also one of the people teaching there. He, well, he's gonna talk about how he went from 5,000 to 300,000. Give me one second, let me put this. So to get in, you can either go to the link that's pinned on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, the, the title, or if you don't see it, or if you're on my website, please click the button below. Please go to these special URLs or you won't get the scholarship. You can pay 5,000 if you want, <laughs> or I'll pay 90% for you. So, um, or if you don't see any of the links, to get in the test group, tylopez.com, you have less than a week properties. tylopez.com slash properties. Just go there, that is the special scholarship. This will no longer work after the week. So for all of you on the fence, like, you know, do or do not. What did Yoda say? Do or do not. There is no try. Okay? So, tylopez.com slash properties. I'm going to read off the names of some of you that are getting in the uh, test group. Give me one second here. I get a little alert every time someone gets in. Oh, we also have a payment program, too. So, if you can't quite afford the 500 bucks, we, you can divide it up, okay? We have a four payment plan, you pay a little bit more. So you can get into this for under 200 bucks. If that's too much for you, man, I can't go any lower. What do you want me to charge, 10 cents? Okay. <laughs> it doesn't even cover the visa processing fee. So that's, if anybody can't, okay, so let me read off. Peter Allen, welcome to the group. Here we go. I get little alerts. Peter Allen, welcome to the real estate mentor group. Okay, Francisco, it looks like 
if your cards decline, just use a different one or call your call your bank. That's the best. All right, you want to come, let, Zach? Before I start reading off all these, let's go through. Let's talk about your story for a second. Tylopez.com/properties. So, Zach, you, we met. You were here at my house at one of my kind of in-person events, and so a year ago. Do you have that? Do you have it that we can show people? Have pictures? Yeah. Yeah, um, it's actually on YouTube too with Naveen Jain. Naveen Jain. Oh, you did a, a you yeah. did a video with a billionaire. Let me see. You showed me. Oh, you you sent me these, right? Let me pull this up. Check this out. So here's Zach. We covered over his uh, social security, security number. But this is his 2017 tax return. This is what they're always trying to get from Donald Trump. All right. So you had to pay sixty thousand in taxes. Where's the map? Where's the one that showed the? Oh, here it is. So here you can see this is California income tax summary. Okay, this is not a fake thing. This is real tax return. It shows his adjusted gross income was three hundred and six thousand four hundred ninety six. And the year before it was yours was five thousand, right? Yes, eight thousand. Eight thousand. Yeah. So using real estate, he went from eight grand in a year to, and this is his net adjustable gross income is your net. That's what you have to pay taxes on. So you went from being in like poverty level because five. Now your wife works, so you weren't completely in poverty. Good thing for your wife, or you would have been in the, the shitter, man. Eight thousand. Yeah. Eight thousand is the poverty line. You're up in Northern California. And you went to 300, over 300,000 put you in the top one or two percent, one percent, I think. Yeah, yeah, and that's just from one house, too. Yeah. I have multiple houses, but. Um, how many deal, how much do you think it'll be this year for 2018? Uh, this year, uh, I want to say about 500,000. Yeah. And, but that's my share. Um, that's a, I'm splitting with the business partner, so we're looking at a million, close to a million. But you'll keep 500 grand, so mm -hmm. you're going up from 300,000. To 500,000. So let me ask you a couple of things. When you were a f starting, were you afraid? Yeah, I was afraid. I was just nervous, um, just calling sellers. Um, you know, just at some point you have to break the ice, you know, talking to, you know, sellers and realtors, especially when you're just learning, you don't know exactly what you're talking about. And they may ask you questions that you don't know the answer. So how do you get over to? like the feeling that you might look stupid? Um, you know, it's just something you just have to do it. There's nothing to it but to do it, you know, yeah. and you know, it just, it, it's like asking a girl out for the first time, you know, for, you know, it's, first couple of times you're always nervous and you kind of get used to it. And it's the same thing with real estate. Kinda Did your it. wife, was, when you decided when you're like, I'm going to quit my job and do real estate, was she for it or against it? She was for it. Oh, yeah, so you got a good wife. Yeah. She was supportive. And was there anyone ne who was negative? Uh, I would have to say, you know, friends. Um, sort what was of the most negative that someone said? Um, you know, it wasn't really negative. It was just the look on people's faces and like their smirks and they kind of laugh at you when you tell them, you know, a deal that you're trying to work on. You're trying to make like a hundred grand and then they kind of just look at you kind of funny and they laugh at you and then, you know, kind of, you know. It's, Did you grow up with parents that were making a lot of money? Mm, no, not really. Um, like you know, middle class? Middle class, yeah. yeah. Where'd you grow up? Uh, San Mateo and uh, yeah. San Jose. Bay so area. how much do you think your dad, what'd your mom and dad do? Uh, man, I want to say maybe in total, maybe like 150,000. Um, I don't know. Um, I honestly don't know. What'd, your, what'd they do for a living? Uh, my dad's a stonemason and my mom, she works for a tech company, SAP, out in Palo Alto. If he was making 150 as a stonemason, he was laying a lot of stone. <laughs> you lay a lot of stone to make 150. Yeah. So you've already surpassed them. It took one year. Um, what was the thing that surprised you the most about real estate? Um, how easy it really is. At first, when I started off, um, you know, I was very nervous. It took me a long time. And um, when I first started off, I didn't have um, any mentors. Um, but once I started getting mentors and I started, you know, just following what my mentor did, um, then I realized, you know, how easy the process really is until I actually closed on it. And I was like, wow, 
this whole time, you know, it's really not that bad. So once now, you got a mentor, how long did it take you to do your first deal? Uh, three months. And how much did you make in your very, what's your very first check? Like how much did you make? $5,000. <laughs> but that was good. It yeah, felt good. It felt good. And gave me the confidence that I needed. So what deal, what was the deal? Was it a house a flip or what? It was a wholesale. Okay. It was a wholesale and a, I should have made more on the wholesale fee, but since it was my first one, you know, I let the, the end buyer negotiate me down. It was on a one point. $1.1 million house, actually. So you probably should have made like 30 grand. Exactly, I should have, but I just wanted to get that first check and just go through the process. What was the second deal? The second one was 20,000. What was the, what, was it a house, a oh, wholesaling? Wholesale. Okay. Yep, oh, it's actually on the MLS too, which is kind of tough to wholesale. So you did, you wholesale to MLS listing and you made, was it exactly 20,000 or was it like yeah. 19,000 or 21? It was, or? Yeah, exactly. exactly 20, right on the door. Oh, really? So yeah. you, you said your fee was 20. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Uh, it felt good because in the, in the Bay Area, it's real tough to wholesale MLS houses. And I did, you know, I did the toughest deal you could really do, which is wholesale a house on the MLS. So, so it gave me a after huge then, break. it was like all downhill. Oh, yeah. After that, that's when I started. How important it. was it in having mentors? You think you could have figured that out on your own? No, no. So the mentor no was like... A necessity have to have it you have yeah. to have it yeah really it's like it's it real estate's easy but it's complicated enough that you will basically kill yourself if you try it completely on your yeah, own it took me a year and a half on my own yeah um okay somebody was asking the link didn't work if you're on instagram and you don't see the link you can just go there that's a simple thing all right it works for you? Let me read off some of the people getting in the program here. Welcome, Aaron Jackson. He did the one payment option in Indiana. Midwest is good. Midwest in the US is a lot of opportunity. You can also buy and hold there and there's a lot of money flowing into that area. Leslie Rosario, that's good. She did the four payment plan. So she got in for under 200 bucks, Florida. Welcome to the group. I'm glad to see there was three feet yesterday and the 18 people I had in my house uh, for the dinner of the 300 group. There was three women or two women or three, two. We need more women entrepreneurs here. Let's level out the playing field. Crystal George, oh, speaking of that, Mississippi. Welcome to the group. All right, these are gonna come in a little faster than I can read them all, but that's fine. Javier Colombani in Florida. Florida got a lot of opportunities. You also got to be careful in Florida. Don't just buy up condos. Tom Langeland, welcome to the group. Did the one payment. He's in California. Stephen Knapp, also in California. Welcome to the group. Andy Alvarez, welcome to the group. North Carolina. North Carolina is a great spot. I love North Carolina for real estate because it's not too expensive to get in, but there's a lot of people wanting properties. Okay. I'm gonna do a few, I gotta go. I didn't realize, it's almost nine. Ah, okay. Um, you wanna give them the phone number and email just in case they have any issues? Yes, you can call in. You can call in, we got the number. What is our number? I always forget our number. Although right now, there might not be anyone there. 1-800. Still left. Oh. 604 2587. 25. You can call during business hours. And then you can also email. You can just email support at tylopez.com. But trust me, this is the quickest. So you're gonna the way it works is very simple. You're gonna get a once you get in the program, you're gonna get a password protected uh, website. So it's a members only website. You enter your email, we'll give you a password. You log in, it's only for you. You'll have a series of videos. You go through them, it's a two month program. You'll have the Facebook group where you can ask questions live. You'll have the bonuses all in there. You grab your phone, your laptop. You can do it audio, you can do a video. You listen for 15 minutes a day, you know, three, four times a day. And then you start taking action. We have an action plan in there, what to do next. It's simple, it's laid out for you. Just follow it, it works. It's about as simple as we could tell you. Follow it and it works. Lucas on Instagram said, claim my spot. Boom. 
let's see. Mr. Splashman says, let's get it. Filippo, Jake said, go Zach. You got fans now. Zach's going to be in here teaching what he's learned. So you're going to learn from people who, you know, just recently started out. It's good to learn from all levels because sometimes if you learn from billionaires, they forget how hard it is to start out. So you're not a beginner because you're making, you know, six figures with real estate. But it's not that long ago that he was making $5,000 a year. This is two years ago. So it's a quick rise. And you can do 500 grand this year. That'll feel real good. Yep. So I think I'm going to go soon. Any other questions? You see any questions on here? They're asking about the, uh, the return policy. Or the... Yeah, we have all that on the web. Go to the website. You can read up. When you go to this link, it's going to lay everything out for you. Bonuses are in there. Does the program work in the UK? It, here's where the program works. Where do people live? There, it will work. Now, you've got to adjust the, the principles a little bit, but it will not work in Antarctica. Uh, Antarctica. Antarctica. There we go. It will not work in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It does not work in the Sahara Desert. Unless you're going to like the Maasai Indian, uh, the Maasai people or something, you're going to rent out properties to them. It does not work in Upper Saskatchewan in the middle of nowhere. But pretty much where people live, it works. So about 50% of the world, it will work. Does the program include the credit repair? Yes. My goal is it's got wholesaling in there. It's got credit in there. It's got to, how to persuade people, how to find the deals, what deals will, you should avoid, what deals you should do. It's got coaching. Zach's in the private Facebook group answering questions. All Cole's in there. It's got different teachers teaching you their specific expertise. I'm in there teaching you. So it's, it's very complete. In fact, there's more in there than you actually need. We put more in there so that no matter what question you have, it will be answered with the video training. Go in the training. The training works. Doesn't have, uh, Brenzo said, it doesn't say the credit repair on the website. Trust me, it's been put in there. Well, they maybe didn't update the website. All right. Wholesaling makes bank. Some, Patrick says, oh my God, Cole is in there. Yep, the original 1.0 version of this was just me and Cole teaching. Now we've added like, this is like 4.0 version. You're getting a version no one's ever gotten. This is like the, you're getting the Lamborghini, a Lamborghini version. You know? All right, let's see what else. Doo -doo -doo. Read off the last few people getting in. John Neely. Now on Instagram, oh, that's the person that said he's in Florida. We got a lot of Florida people. Pedro Gonzalez, also in Florida. Brandy Rudensky in outside the U.S., in Canada, Ontario, Canada. Jorge Larios in Texas. Boom. You got to compete with Jose. Sidley in Mississippi. All right. For every, Richard Loretto, Missouri. Missouri is a good state. Buy and hold. Who's going to own a block? Who's going to commit here that for the rest of their life, they'll always be a real estate investor? Okay, I don't think we're good to go. There's probably more to talk about, but I'm gonna lose my voice. Would you like a grape, Charlie Murphy? What does he say? Pancakes. <laughs> Would you like some pancakes, Charlie Murphy? All right, uh, I'm out. And Ty, the government in India banned Bitcoin. What else? Do, do real estate? Heck yeah, India, real estate. Now there's some specifics to investing in real estate in India that you'll have to learn, but this program will teach you the basic principles. It works everywhere. There's banks, there's lending, there's people paying, there's flipping in India. It's all, it's, it's yes, learn. And one of the things, let me just get, say this last thing. What this program is gonna do the most for you guys is give you confidence. That's the most important thing. Yep. That's what the school system forgets to give people. You have a lot of the answers within you to make money. Trust me. Not everything. You need mentors. But a lot of what you need is inside you. 
The problem is nobody ever got behind you and said, we believe in you, right? School system just, look, college just basically says this. Pay us 20 to 80 grand a year, show up to classes, and that's it. They don't help you find a job, most of them. Most people, they don't even help you pick what major you should be in. They're just, this is a program only focused on results. I, want, I don't care if 10 people get in this program or you know, 1,000, doesn't matter to me. What I care about is at the end of the two months, how many people are getting results? That's it. What did someone write? Someone said, uh, Rick Ross, buy back the block. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Is that what Rick Ross is doing? Is he going to like Atlanta or something? And I don't where's know. Where's Rick Ross from? Isn't he from Atlanta? Well, but, uh, Florida? Florida? Adrian, what, Miami, what, what Miami. mumbling was that over there? <laughs> Adrian sounded like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> hey, that's Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard you just chime in like that, Adrian. <laughs> I just heard, a, I literally was like, I think Arnold Schwarzenegger just entered the building. I think he's in Florida. Uh, what's the best place to find good mentors? Tylopez.com slash properties. I'm going to instantly give you five, four or five real estate mentors. Not just me. Sell me some confidence, I'll take two. That's what this is about. Confidence. Rick Ross drip goes, woo, on the bitch. No one said that? Okay. No. Somebody said it's a song, Ty. Buy back the block. Okay. Yep. I'm out. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. All right.